and Carrie. Hello, hello. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me, Shilpa. Of course. When I saw your the name of your book, I thought she's she's perfect for this month's category. One thought of <laughs> for um happy mind and as before we hit record i was sharing that my perspective on happy mind is really a lot of what we perceive and experience in life really starts with the mind and the thoughts in the mind and i would love to hear your thoughts on on this topic yeah well the mind is so um i believe that the mind is one of our most powerful tools but it's also i i have noticed and seen one of our most under leveraged tools by a lot of people right and so one of the things that we really focus on is what we call mindset mastery and really learning to use your mind as one of your your greatest assets to work for you and not against you does that make sense absolutely yes and one of the things I, when you said work, not work against you is sometimes we're not even aware that we might right. be our greatest enemy sometimes. Right. We call that the monkey mind. So when I say we, I mean like in our community. So we do, um, I have a company that does women's transformation work. We do group coaching and stuff like that. We have coaches. So when I say we, that's who I'm talking about. But um, we refer it to as the monkey mind. And the monkey mind is that little voice in the back of your head, that very human, that, that just um, reminds us of our humanness, right? That little voice in the back of the head that says, you know, might say, you're not good enough. Who do you think you are? Um, somebody like you can't get results like that. You know, it's that it's really fear based and it's often programmed from our childhood you know, things that maybe we heard when we were younger um, and we began to believe that that was true for us. I'm not smart enough. I'm not good at sports. I can't do that. Money doesn't grow on trees, right? And then throughout our lives, we strengthen that belief or that story for our lives. And that monkey mind wants to just, you know, it's rattling off in the back of our head the whole time, you know, trying to remind us um, and trying to have us contract or shrink. But the, the thing, the work that we do with One Thought Away is we're really emphasizing you can break that cycle. You are actually one thought away at every given moment. You are one thought away from breaking that cycle or not. You're one thought away from believing you can have the life that you want today or not. You can be confident today or not. Your body can heal today or not. And so the power of the mind is just so critical. Yes, absolutely. One of the things I've discussed on this topic of happy mind is that we are so conditioned, maybe because we are this animal at, at the end of the day that is trying to protect ourselves and constantly doing a survey of things around you. And as you emerge into this role of expansion, I often feel that we have a different shift, a shift in how we perceive our role in relationship to our mind, because maybe we are not our mind. Mm -hmm. So, right. yeah, having said that, I, I'm intrigued. What was the catalyst behind the book for you? Well, so for me, I've been in this personal development space for about 20 years. And, um, and and it started because I had that dark moment of my own life, that dark moment of my soul. I had an eating eating addiction. I was 50 pounds overweight. I checked out, escaped, and numbed out with food and eating. Um, you know, I wasn't where I wanted to be in my career. I worked in the corporate world at that time. I wasn't where I wanted to be with my finances, just like everything, right? And And it really came to a head one night where I realized, wow, I can keep living the way that I'm living, but I will continue to get the results that I'm not loving, or I can pick myself up and create a different life for myself. And, um, and that whole journey of discovery led to even the launch of this business. Um, I say that I say my business launched it, it birthed itself 20 years ago out of necessity, because it was exactly what I was looking for, but I couldn't find it. It was what I was looking for when I needed it and I couldn't find it. And I just felt like once I cracked the code on turning my own life around, I felt a deep responsibility 
to then go give it away, go give it away to anybody else, any other woman who might be crying on her bathroom floor and needing a way out, but not being able to find the lifeline. Um, so through the past 20 years, you know, I've worked with thousands and thousands of women and, uh, and there was this common thread that I heard over and over around how they were thinking and the negative thinking kept bringing them back to the old ways, the old patterns, the old results. And so this book has been in the making for many, many years. We're very excited that it, um, finally came out and hit number one bestseller, um, international bestseller, hit number one in all these other, um, in a lot of categories, which tells us that, that you know, we work specifically with women, but of course this information is good for men and women, but it tells us that people are hungry for the breakthrough. They're hungry to learn what is an action I can take today to help me get a shift today. You know, there's a lot of people who are stuck in old results, old thoughts, old patterns, and they're in a lot of pain, emotional pain, physical pain. And um, the mind has 80,000 thoughts a day. And research shows that 60 to 70,000 of those thoughts are usually negative. So if we start to leverage the mind and the way that we think, my gosh, just think if like, we were thinking 60 to 70,000 positive thoughts a day. What would happen to our health physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually? What would happen to our wealth, our life purpose, our joy, our fulfillment? Um, and so that's how the, the book came into fruition is after decades of research and on like in-person work with thousands and thousands of women. I am intrigued now Just to back up. You mentioned that the company itself birthed itself. It was like almost your calling and your energy manifested this lovely um, service, I believe, to, mm. to women. Can you describe the model of how your company works and then maybe even give us a, um, an example or case study of someone who may have made that shift through one thought away? Oh my goodness. Absolutely. So what we do is we work with women who, um, we work with women who are over 21, who are ready to transform their lives or ready to transform, at least start with one specific area. We work with women in year long group coaching programs that do have one-on-one -on -one attention within that group format. So they also get a performance coach. They do a deep dive with her every single month. Um, we also, I do private coaching with a few, some, a, a handful of VIP clients. We also have um, courses that are smaller, like seven week online programs. Um, we have a couple seven week online programs. So we, we have a lot of different ways that we work with people. Of course, we do master classes, free challenges. We, we do that work as well. But the greatest impact, the greatest transformations come from the year long programs, because for like, I'm in my 50s. And it's like, you know, if I'm to start something today, well, you know, I'm coming in with 10 years, I'm coming in with 50 years of pre-programming, thinking a certain way, you know, being in relationship to my emotions a certain way, acting a certain way, having certain habits. And so it takes time to unwind what has become our normal, you know, so for the things that aren't working for us, you know, mindless eating was one of mine, mindless eating, emotional eating, um, feeling overwhelmed is what was one of mine. They, that takes time to unravel in a way where it's not just a a short hit of relief, but we want to make sure that someone doesn't just get relief temporarily, but they get sustained transformation and they know, wow, if I can transform my wealth, wow, what if I can transform my health? If I can transform my health, perhaps I can transform my relationships too. And we start to help them build confidence in themselves in regards to be, being able to shift every aspect of their life as many times as they want, continuing to up level. And it doesn't matter if you're, I mean, because you mentioned that there's, we yes. have to program certain years of our lives, right? Because we're conditioned. So mm -hmm. I am not quite right in my 20s. Will it take that much longer now if I were to try to make a, a, a leap into a new 
um, mindset? You know what? I don't think it has to take, um, I think that a lot of people make it harder than it needs to be. Right. And um, I don't think it needs to take a huge amount of time. Let me give you, let me give you a, a case study. Um, Cause I know you asked for that. So let me also share something, some, uh, a testimonial with you. But here's the thing. I don't think it needs to take a ton of time. If you have the right strategies and the right people around you, getting the right strategies in place and the right people are in place actually can streamline your process. It can save you so much time in the long run, so much heartache, so much money. It can save you so much energy in the long run because um, what we see happen is women try to push through on their own and figure it out on their own. And they've done this year after year after year. And then they come into our programs and we give them the curriculum that's already proven. We have thousands of testimonials that prove that our curriculum works, approves that these strategies work, that the accountability, the mentorship works, right? And so to come in and and get a framework so that your brain knows where it's headed, it knows what's expected of it, of it um, it, I say it collapses time. What could take you decades to figure out when you come in and you get the strategies given to you on a silver platter, you have the support in place. It could, it could save you years, literally save you years of your life. And, um, and you get to where you want to go so much faster. Um, like for example, I have a graduate, her name's Giselle and Giselle um, when she first found us, she was living in Southern California. She was probably about 50 pounds overweight. She was a mortgage broker. She did not like her job. She was in a bad marriage. She had um, she had a few kids at the time that the parenting was challenging because the marriage was challenging and she just wasn't happy. She was not happy. She was working 80 hours a week in the, in the mortgage industry and she came in and she she really got that it felt it was a, it felt like a leap of faith to invest her time in herself and invest her money in a program to better her own life it felt like a leap of faith but she said you know what if not now then when is basically what she said and so she came in and she worked the program and she stayed coachable and she uh, messaged me a few months ago and she is unbelievable what she's created for herself and she's she sent me all of these pictures she's now living in turkey and she she went through a bad divorce since i met her but she was able to get through that with a lot more ease because of the skill set she learned with us and then she has um met an amazing man she's remarried she has a fabulous marriage her kids are thriving she lives in turkey he's from turkey she lives in turkey she's dropped 50 pounds She's doing, um, she's now a writer, which is what her dream was. She is, she can write with a view of the Mediterranean from her home and she's climbing castles at sunset. She's doing all this amazing stuff, her dream life. She is literally living her dream life. And, uh, and she sent me pictures and she sent me this huge thank you uh, message. And she just says, you know, um, oh, and she was on like, five medications. She's completely off all medications, no medications. Her blood pressure is fine. Her blood sugar is fine. Everything has rebalanced itself out. And um, she sent me this beautiful letter and all these pictures. And she said, you know, I now have this life because she did the work with us and she started focusing on herself, like becoming the happiest, healthiest version of herself possible. And that is just one of thousands of testimonials that we have. But I share Giselle's testimonial because I think a lot of our friends here can probably relate. A lot of our friends have weight issues or money issues or relationship issues or struggles or whatever it is. And, um, and you don't need to stay there. And so it's really about getting the right strategies in place, getting the right people in place and allowing the support in. Allow yourself to be supported. I do believe that so many women are seeking like you were expressing earlier that they're trying to do it on their own and mm -hmm. it would be so nice to have that support but also within a framework sounds like there's a logical way to go about it 
Yeah, well, so here's the thing about the mind. The research shows, because I study the brain all the time. I love, I think it's fascinating. And our human brains are designed to want to have a plan, right? And so if we do not give our brains a plan to hook into, and so a plan by design, if we do not give our brains a, a roadmap, this is the life that I want. This is the wealth, the health, the relationships, the life purpose, if we don't give that to our brain, it's still going to hook into a plan, but it'll hook into a plan by default versus design. And so whatever our mind is believing, cognitively, what we believe, we must prove ourselves right. And so whatever that plan is that we give our brain to hook into for our life and our life vision and purpose, it will help it will, even while you sleep, it's working tirelessly to make that that um, plan come true. So it is really critical to get clear on what you want with your life. Why do you want it? And to make sure that you're giving your brain a very clear roadmap of what you want to create, or just at least a vision of what you want to create so that it can work for you, not against you. Uh, would you say that this approach is essentially, let's say you're, you're at the beginning stages as a female entrepreneur and you're like, I I don't quite know how to articulate this framework. What you're describing sounds like you're, you're defining your why based on mm -hmm. your core values. And sometimes mm -hmm. a lot of us may not have even gained clarity yet on what we want. Right. Which is why this work is so important, right? It's, it is not for, for myself, our coaches, the women in our community, like we don't think that self-care or um, the visioning work is a luxury. Like a lot of people consider it a luxury. Oh, if I have time left at the end of the day, I'll take care of myself. Or oh, if I have time left at the end of the day, I'll do my visioning work. But we actually really put it, pri we, we prioritize it, right? Because um, it may be fun. It may feel fun and lighter work than maybe some of, some of the other tasks or work that we need to do that day. But it doesn't mean it's any less important. And oftentimes, I would say it's the most important work. Because when you get this work in place, everything else gets to fall into place easier, right? Versus, oh, well, I'll try to fit in my self-care. I'll try to fit in my, um, my life purpose or my vision work. I'll try to fit it in later after I take care of everything else. But then you're usually exhausted by the end of the day. You've usually given everything up to everybody else by the end of the day. Right. And so um, we like to prioritize this work and it might feel a little counterintuitive. If you have a really long to do list, it's going to feel a little counterintuitive to take the time to go into prayer or go into meditation or to go get your exercise or to make sure that you're eating well. You know, if you're somebody who's really rushed and busy all the time, it will probably feel counterintuitive. But what we have seen over and over is that when you take care of you first, when you do your, your self-mastery work first, the rest of your life gets to flow with more grace and ease. The solutions find us much easier when we're slowing down to actually hear them. Absolutely. And it definitely helps you connect with your authentic self by um, prioritizing your meditation first thing in the morning so it sounds like one of the many modalities that are part of your framework is visualization as well as meditation meditation prayer visualization so um the visualization is is important because again we want to we want to be clear on the vision we're giving our brains to hook into right um because when we have that clarity Wow, all of a sudden we start attracting opportunities to get us there. We start all of a sudden meeting the right people that can support us to get to that place that we want in our lives. Like it's pretty interesting what happens. Like God, universe, it wants to play with us. They want to partner with us in being um, really happy and healthy and living lives that light us up. And so we get to show up. We get to show up and do our part, right? And, um, and part of that is the visioning for sure. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Wonderful. Um, I would love to 
just read the book, which I know I will be very soon. And do you mention some of these techniques in the book as well about visualization? Right. Yeah, you know what? A really cool thing. So the book is called One Thought Away. You can find it on Amazon. It has a Kindle or a paperback version. Um, but at the end of chapter one, it's at on um, page 24, I believe. Let me just check really quickly. Um, yes, at the end of chapter one on page 24, there's actually um, a, there's a, a, a URL there, a link. And uh, it, it, it actually takes you to some bonuses that will help you process and integrate the book and make sure that you are taking, you know, um, taking your life to the next level as you're reading the book. And one of the bonuses is a visualization. So when, after you get the book, you know, go to the end of chapter one, go to that, that um, URL at the very bottom of page 24, download the visualization. And the reason why I did it at the beginning of the book is because I want the reader's mind to hook into that vision at the very beginning of the book so as you go through the book you you are um you're you're deepening and strengthening the vision right so we i we the team we wanted to make sure that the book was not just a book that sits on your bed side table forever and never gets read <laughs> like we really wanted to make sure that it was an experience and so um, the book is actually, I would say, more than just a book. It's an experience. We have um, Dr. Marisa Snyder, her testimonial on the back of the book says, after reading this book, you can literally jump into taking immediate action. All of the nuggets and insights make this more than a read. It's like a dream life workbook. And so we've had a lot of women say that their book is ear tagged and highlighted and underlined. And there's a lot of writing in the, in the, um, the margins. And so I really encourage all of our friends to use this as a life dream life guidebook. Wonderful. I will embrace it. I already practice so many of these techniques and yet I always keep my mind receptive to integration of new tools and expanding my network of um, fellow fellow coaches who are there to support one another. So thank Beautiful. you so much. Now, one last question, because the geeky science part of me is always interested in knowing something about how the science of spirituality can be connected. So in this case, things like visualization and other things, I accept it. But some people may say, well, I want to understand the science behind it. Does uh, neuroplasticity and programming of the brain have anything to do with how these modalities help people? Absolutely. So in our brains, there's something called neuroconnections. And an easy way to think about it is roadways, right? So every thought that you have, like if you do it, if you have a vision um, and then you have a thought, a vision for your dream life in your mind's eye. And then, so you now have a thought about that vision in your mind's eye. Every thought that you have is laying down a road or a pathway. A pathway is a good way to say it. It's laying down a pathway in your brain. That pathway is called a neuro connection. And so if you are continuously thinking positive thoughts about your future, about that exciting vision for your future, then what you do every time you think that thought, you're deepening and strengthening that pathway or that neuro connection in your brain. If you're continuing to think of visions for your future that scare you or that aren't the ones that you really want to have, then you're continuing to deepen and strengthen those pathways in your brain or those neuro connections. And so what we want to do is we want to deepen and strengthen the ones that are serving you that are going to move you forward to the life that you really want. It's like your mind is like a muscle. We're exercising your mind to, um, to, and programming it to think the thoughts that are going to move you forward. If you have continuous thoughts, neuro connections in your brain that are not serving you, we welcome you to do what we call a pattern interrupt, which means you want to disrupt that pattern of that negative thought. If you're thinking money doesn't grow on trees, money doesn't grow on trees, money doesn't grow on trees, we wanna disrupt that pattern and replace it with a positive thought. That might be hard to do if you really believe money doesn't grow on trees. And so a good place to start with that is, 
I might not be where I want to be yet with my money, but I'm so grateful that I'm now in a different conversation with Shilpa, with Carrie. I'm so grateful that I'm now surrounding myself with different information to create a different result. Even gratitude, just having a thought around gratitude can help can help disrupt the pattern or the thought process or the neuro connection in your brain that isn't serving you, right? So that's a great question. Um, I love that question, how you want to connect the science to the spirituality and all of it, all of it's connected. All of it's connected because we're holistic beings, right? Every part of us, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual, it's all connected. And so that's one reason, like really addressing your physical health, your mental health, your spiritual health, your emotional health, all the pieces are really important because they all work together. Absolutely. I, I just loved your final way that you articulate and we are all connected. All of these um, parts of what we perceive whether it's the energy of our body, the food we eat, the thoughts we put into it, it's all energy. Right. Thank you, Carrie, so much. I can't wait to read the book. I can't wait for people to find you and learn from you because I'm looking at your website. It's so lovely, full of beautiful content. And there are women, female entrepreneurs are my uh, target. And I know mm. they would love to learn from you. A spir a spiritual female entrepreneurs. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, we're very faith based as well. And, um, and what I will say is for all of our friends here who are entrepreneurs, you can have good business strategy, but unless you have the personal development work underneath you as your foundation, it doesn't really matter how good your business strategy is, because the minute that stress hits you, the business strategy will go out the window. And so build your house on rock and not sand. Get the personal development skills underneath your, your belt, underneath your feet, because that's what's going to help you be successful in your business. Not as a one hit wonder, but really a sustained, um, sustained success. And it goes to not only your professional business, but it could also then not everything, everything like your personal life will also benefit from your spiritual work on that side absolutely absolutely well carrie i hope i can have you back in in the near future because this was such a powerful conversation so fun thank you so much for having me we would love to can continue to contribute to your um amazing audience great work with the podcast that you're doing well done you're doing great work in the world and um we feel very i feel very honored to be here with you today it was such an honor. Thank you, Carrie. And we will uh, have a conversation in the near future. Have a great day. Bye. Sounds good. Bye, everybody. Bye.